Like phase contrast imaging, differential interference contrast, or DIC, is used for viewing colourless and transparent specimens and live cells, where the object appears dark against a bright background. DIC generally provides a higher resolution image with less halo artifacts and a pseudo three-dimensional appearance. It is optimised to cover slips and importantly, it cannot be used with plastic dishes. To perform DIC imaging, first check that the lamp is on and the brightness level is acceptable to provide good contrast. The light from the lamp goes through a polarizer and then after the light has transmitted through the sample and objective, it goes through a fixed matching cross polarizer before the light goes to the detector. If you don't have a sample in the pathway and you put both polarizers in, you should not have any light coming through. It should look dark. Then when you put your sample in the light path, it will shear the light and because of this mismatch, some of the light will leak through to the detector to produce contrast. Make sure you have adjusted the microscope to provide color illumination. Open the aperture of the condenser to the fully open position, otherwise you will not illuminate your sample. Check the emission turret is in the bright field or no filter position. Make sure the light is directed to the eyepieces by turning the knob on the inverted microscope. Insert and remove the polarizer to compare bright field and DIC images. If you are not doing DIC but you are doing fluorescence imaging and you want to deconvolve the images later, be aware that the DIC components can affect your point spread function and image quality or your deconvolution image. If you have any questions, come and talk to the facility staff.